everyone, and welcome to another TARDIS review with me, John Parker, and... Me, Jack Kelling, and... Me, Cody Kronotis. We are back once again after God knows how long it's been since we've done the last console review. Um, actually, I think it was the end of the year, or, year, the year, or the beginning of the year, where we did the um, console that uh, Stabitha Kronotis created. Mm -hmm. Am I right? I think yeah, so, so it was Christmas because we were yeah, in Christmas hats. Yes, it was. So it was about seven centuries ago now. Oh my God! So yeah, <laughs> it has been a very long time since we had done a video. Now this one, we are reviewing the Concept Thirteen, which, funnily enough, I have no knowledge of whatsoever. So I'm going to be passing the mantle here to John and Cody, and they're going to be not only showing you, but also showing me too, because this will be the first time I've actually seen the console. Um, so, John, do you want to go ahead and let the ex uh, get the ex exterior for us? Ah, that's quite that's quite a nice little mix. That is, you've got a. Pertwee Baker style towards the top. Not right directly on the top, because obviously theirs was quite flat. This one's actually got a roof. But um, obviously the, the actual height of the police public call box sign, of course the actual tip of the roof, is quite the uh, same size as what theirs was like. Uh, of course we've got the black signage as well, the pull to open sign, which is uh, quite close to the original the black sign on the front uh, actually contains the correct text other than the other exteriors not showing the correct text because I know that there was a mm -hmm. an issue with how the prop designer and Doctor Who had done the, the front text and this right. I think was the first because I know I know the new 13th Doctor um, exterior that we've seen now in the BBC reveal um, you know photographs and, and what have you um, shows that it does use the correct text but I don't know I think this is the correct one I'm sure our fans can tell us whether that's right or wrong. What are you even on about, Cray? So, the prop designer originally for um, the new series of Doctor Who uh, got this sign wrong. It um, there was a, I forgot what the message was. I think it was said, I think it said officer officer and cars respond to all calls or something. But it's actually oh, officers yeah. and cars respond to urgent calls. That's the correct way of saying it. Well, I've, I've just looked on um, on the the tenant box, which is over on my private reser, and you're right. Mm -hmm. That has got so, something different on it, anyway. But so, yeah, that was one thing that this that Roman did for this exterior. So it is really just directly based upon the older style uh, exteriors, then. Mhm. Mm the roof. Mhm. Mm uh, the textures don't really um, blend Match. well. No. Yeah, it's because of the way it was built, I believe. Um, Okay, that is not helping my point at all. Okay, so it wasn't the way it was built. It just seems to be that the way the UV map... Yeah, look, they're separate faces for a start, and the UV is just completely different, so that's why the textures aren't matching. Right, okay. There isn't actually a UV map on this, so to speak. It's just a, you know, Second Life flat texture. Mm. But it's the way it's the way Second Life has mapped it. Um, so that's why you're getting that weird... You know, dissonance there. Well, but the mesh, by the looks of it, is is one whole thing. If yes, I can see that. It looks like it. But there is one. There is actually. Sorry, Rowan. There is a few. Um, I'm going to say faults um, that I've spotted when I've used this, and that is number one. There's a gap right the way between the two doors here. Number two, the smoothing on this mm. angle is just non-existent. Um, and I think yes, the lamp has a gap at the top there and also at the bottom along with the texture glitches but you can't really fix the texture glitches unless of course you were to UV map this whole thing and then bake it but um, I'm not 100% a fan of the texture but that's just my personal preference but um, <laughs> but I mean from the reason well, no, I was going to say I mean that's not in general the point the point is like from a distance like if you look at it like uh, in full view, not close up, talking like full view screen. It looks nice. It looks perfectly yeah. fine. I like it. She's added a nice Easter egg to this. I'll say, I call oh. it an Easter egg. Okay. Um, if you rotate the exterior, not that you ever would, but if you rotate the exterior um, 180 degrees, okay. <laughs> on the bottom, 
Oh. That lovely steampunky style cogs and exposed bottom there. Wasn't, got wasn't that on the Grace as well? Maybe. I haven't seen the Grace exterior. I'd like yeah, that we anyway. We did a review on it. I'm sure we found out that there was something on Anyway. Wow, okay. Maybe, wait, be cool. I could, I'm my memory faults, but yeah. So there you go, that's effectively the exterior. Um, it's we nice. Can, uh, I like it. Enter, if you dare. Oh, I dare too, but I'll enter. tell you, Jack, you're going to love this. Oh, am I? The oh, first I... time I saw this console, I nearly died. Here we go. Oh, I love it when Second Life sounds glitch out. It's playing the in-flight sound, and I know we landed. So this is it. If you go into midnight, you should be able to see the lighting. I've turned the lights on for this, I believe, so... I do bloody love this. Oh, wow. Midnight is really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, the... Oh, my God, now, I the should lights. have gave both of you control access, so if you want to click things you can do to demonstrate. I'm admiring first. It's okay, Crow, I'll just spam click everything. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those damn lights. Mm-hmm. I oh, genuinely, Jack, I told you. This this console is bloody wonderful. This is really nice. Yes. The, um, the contrast of colours as well, I think, just fits perfectly. You know, it's like one one whole solid colour, more or less, apart from obviously the got bars on the actual console. Um, <laughs> obviously shaded differently, and it just mixes perfectly. The, um, the uh, obviously, the way Rowan builds her, um, her mesh is, as I said, on the exterior. She doesn't UV map them, right? So all the textures you're seeing right here are are just direct textures on the faces. Mm -hmm. But I absolutely love the choice of textures that she's put on here. I mean, using the specular here to create this hexagonal, hexagonal, yeah. hexagon look um, on the floor when you put your lights around it. And oh, also, you'll notice the reflections. Off. You notice the reflections on the floor. Now, if you've ever had used um, Black Dragon Viewer, uh, you'll see that these all turn into um, proper reflections. So you see the actual roundels on the floor. Um, which obviously we, you can see happening slightly here because I believe she's put. Oops, that's not where I went. Right, yeah, probably project. she's put a projectors. She's put a projector on these as well, so you can create that effect in the current second light viewer. But on the on the Black Dragon one, you can see it a lot more clearly because obviously the reflection software, the uh, reflection system in Black Dragon is a lot more nicer. But. Um, I don't think I turned the scanner screen on. Have you got the scanner screen button somewhere? I've no idea where that is. So I'm just looking through this. Um, I, can find that I have this no extra idea. Extra screen. <laughs> I'm going to turn roleplay mode off temporarily. Hold on. There you go. But now I think the gold metallic tinting on on the, the this part is it this part of the floor or is it on all of them? On all of them. I assume it's a reflection from the uh, natural console, am I right? Yeah, that's probably generated through the lights. Yeah. I, think, I think there's a faint light. It's somewhere. coming from like, underneath. Actually, let me just double check that. My uh, too yeah, there you go. Wish. That one's that, that colour. I can't see. Let me go into light settings. I don't seem to. Uh, yeah. No, I, I can't see it. But I think there must be a light somewhere <laughs> that's projecting that. You're a light. But yeah, so... Is the scanner screen going to turn on, or are... Um, I don't know, have you... Oh, I'll tell the... you why, I'll tell you why it isn't on. Why? Because you landed on a res with no image. Oh, oh no, it's because you had no <laughs> You wallet. Oh! Oh, I see, sorry. I'm not used to scanner screens that don't open, that aren't already open. That is a lovely screen. I, I do like I do like how that was done. Okay, let's just turn help off and put RC mode back on. It's actually a feature you might like over here, Jack. Um, are you aware of the TARDIS information system from the classic series? 
Va vaguely. Well, if you look at this screen here ah, in yes. front of me, that's been included here, and you can click these buttons to cycle between different things. If, of course, they load, they don't load for me. Oh, no, I see them. I see them. But you oh, can, that's You cool. can go through them, and it's, there's some interesting gifts in there. That is really cool. I think it's this one here can show you all the kinds of Dalek. That is really good. And actually, you know, we, um, remember when we reviewed the Phoenix console? That had uh, a similar thing, but this is what that was supposed to be. This was a slightly more updated variant. The exterior display seems to be a bit off. I see that fine on my screen. If I remember rightly, Cray, isn't this screen like on the Theta where you've got the um, exterior display thing? Yeah, look, if I do this... See? That's the Eye of Harmony. That's Hold a on, green didn't screen. The other one, didn't the other one have the CIA message as well? Yeah, the other one has a has a GIF, which is like a CIA login screen, which is cool. But that, that was a feature that was specifically for this console and was supposed to be on the That's Phoenix, impressive. but it had a slightly lesser version of the same thing. Oh. Okay. I'm going to take this off then so we can see it in flight. Uh, make sure yes. you're all in midnight mode. Oh, yes, I am. And that one there. And that one there. Okay. <clears throat> Trying to think, Cray, is there anything else? I know that you can, there's pieces on the console that you can put add on script in. Yes. So you've, there's a um, randomizer there. Which is that flashy colour. That's there. cool. I like Apparently that. Apparently, I've got show highlight disabled. Why? Flight programmer there. So, yeah, I like, she's put the, the controls there for it if you have the add-on so you can just insert the yeah, script directly into script it. In and, which I thought was nice because that means you've got a panel where you can put your add-ons and you don't have to worry about fitting them in. Mm -hmm. Yes. I do agree with that. The rotor, I don't know, I don't even know why it reminds me of this but it just does. It's like a expanded zero point module. A zero point module with more gaps in it. Mm, I see I what you're saying. I don't even know why it's reminding me of that, but <clears> either way, I, I think it looks bloody adorable. I, like, I do like Star the rotor in this. Yeah. What, one thing about this console that I really love, absolutely love what Rowan did here, is the um, the key, which is for the power button. So oh, you've got a Time yeah, Lord key the here. sounds that that plays. Listen to this. Okay, I'm going to turn it off and then turn it back on again. And the good thing about this console, though, I think the same with her Grace console, is when of course it's turned off. If I can find it, apparently I. Wait, where's the thing gone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> By the doors. If you could turn that handle, the door opens. And I believe that flashes when the power comes on and off. Um, uh, let me just find the key again in this it dark. It doesn't flash. If I leave my camera on it, you can get me an angle of the, the Randall coming up. Now, did you hear the car start sound? Yep, I heard it. I love that. But if I if I turn the pair off again, the you'll see that Randall. greatest power sound. That Randall should flash, you see, I think. Or I don't something. think, it, it, do, I it, don't think it flashes, it just goes down out of the way. I can't seem to... That's it, there we go. Oh look, there you go, it's flashing. Oh yeah, it does flash. I never noticed that before. Then you can hear the noise of it coming in, coming out. But <laughs> yeah, uh, and I'll just turn it back on again for our, the rest of our demonstration. If we can find the key... There we go. Okay. But yeah, I just love that. You 
also got the Sonic Screwdriver. Yeah, there's a uh, fabrication like, port, like, which only you can use, Cray, interestingly enough. If I try it, it will say that I can't use it. If I click it, I think. You have to know there's a control that you have to press that's uh -oh. just below it. See that one off to the right? No, 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 the, 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 the knob. Oh. That one. Oh, there yeah. we go. So that's going to spin around and create you a custom Sonic, which was built just for this. Ah. Uh, which means, technically, it? if you were yes, in this, yeah. you don't have to buy the Sonic Screwdriver pack, because it works like the Sonic Screwdrivers from the pack. <laughs> there you go, look. All of the options. That is awesome. Does that is is these are these for um, the exterior or the or the, or the console? No, that I think that makes it. I think that's a sonic command and it uses it like a torch. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Okay, if I can click it again, oh, click, click, you click it. You don't you don't have to click it. There's a way. Click on the click on your ATI, and then. Nope, no, I said that wrong. I think it's that one, isn't it? And then yeah. the accessory is yeah. screwdriver. There we go. That's, that's what I meant. Okay, and there you go. Um, there's the door lever, if anybody was interested. Very fancy crystal-looking door lever. But that could just be the way the UV map's done. But it's come out quite nice. Oh, we'll land it again. Did you choose home? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now, recharging. Now, um, I should go with recharging. The default yeah. exterior. Yes, yeah, so um, the Cardiff Bay is a recharge point. Um, and thanks, this thanks console. Sen. Thank you, Sen. This, this <laughs> console has um, a lot of roundels. And the, the, with the new HO update that came out, uh, was it last year or was it this year? No, it was not be this year. It was last, last year, year, but he's just finished the updates today. Yeah, he just finished the original updates, and that's the last updates. Now, when you recharge in a console that has roundels specifically, um, any of the roundel lights will do a certain effect. Now, uh, one of us can be outside. I go outside and, <laughs> and look at the effect that we've got at Cardiff Bay, <laughs> um, and one of, and obviously we can stay inside and show off the effect on the inside. So, Jack, when you're editing this, you can obviously switch between. The two. So, where's the flight control? Is it the flight control or is it the power control? It's the power control I need, isn't it? Hang on, I'm right. going to pop out too because I want to go see this. Okay. Right, so I'm going to click it. Okay, three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one, recharge. Oh. There we go. Oh my goodness. There's the roundels. So they, they increase randomly. Ah. Well, in a certain order, but it's random looking. And all of the lights really bright. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't like this feature. Don't you? Um, it's no. not. It's not. It's not. It's not. The, it's not. <laughs> it takes too long. On some on some consoles, uh, you, the recharge will be done, and it will I, still be recharging, I, or at least looking like it's still recharging. I I did a mod, and I had a load of lights that are set to invisible using the correct description parameters, and they glow as well. Mm. And it just looked ugly. That's personally why I don't like it. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice feature in yeah, in a see, default look, build, but see, see what's happening here. The renders are finished. The recharge is already done. But these lights are now one by one lighting up. That's a little slow. It, it, it it's a nice feature, but it. It wasn't done too well. Mm. Yeah, the idea can... is cool, but it, what should have happened is all of the lights should have reacted at the same time, or at least um, L like speed it up, sped up, blink quickly, slowly. All of them blink slowly, then gradually speed up, speed up, and then fast, and then stop. Mm -hmm. That would have been better. Yeah, the recharge is done. I can take off, but these lights will carry on. They'll, they'll keep doing that for the next. In fact, I've got to test the theory. Five, if six I turn minutes. the power off. I think if you turn the power off, they're still going to be bloody doing it. Mm. Shouldn't they turn off with the power, though? Isn't the point? Yeah. Yeah, look, the power's off, but the lights... 
Let's so stand. because the re the recharge uh, let's call it a toggle the recharge toggle has got activated, it's now going to do that until that's finished. Yeah. And then what? Those lights go off because obviously the power's off, or they only go uh, off if you turn on and off again. I think I think the power will go off once they're finished. But see, right. I can understand why it's happening. It's because each of these lights are separate links, and each of one of them has their own description. And the way it's scripted it is, it goes through the whole link set, and each one of them it finds a round or it and applies that effect one by one by one. The problem with that is because it takes so long to make the light do all the the brightness, yep. it has to go through each individual link. <laughs> So you end up with this yeah, slow effect. That, that, that can be annoying. I can understand and why. It doesn't, it doesn't happen on normal consoles, because obviously some consoles don't have as many round or lights set up on the link set. Yeah. But with this one... <laughs> it does. Well, I mean, there's each one slight snag, but I mean, it's not really the end of the world. Either way, I mean, the, that recharge effect with the uh, Cardiff water terror thing. That's I thought that was pretty cool. I like that. I, uh, I, I did that originally as a random effect because I remember talking to Cody about it. I was like, you know, we can do that um, we, calling we the doctor it. effect. We did it because we had Torchwood. And yeah. then when we got the recharge thing set up, Sen said, do you have a custom effect you want to use? Mm -hmm. And we figured it would be cool to have that shown more than just when someone activates it via Torchwood. Mm -hmm. So we had it sort of activated from there. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, actually, we've since taken Torchwood down, but we had it in the hub as well, where when the TARDIS was recharging, the effects went round the water tower in the hub, as though they were going up from the hub and then out mm -hmm. of the tower at, uh, above ground. Yeah. And um, so, but obviously, regardless of whether or not we have Torchwood or not... <laughs> 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 well, the lights have gone off. <laughs> oh, Hold on, Jack. Hang on, that's right. I'm back by the exterior again. Why? Why did that pop up when I've got an available mode activated? Because dialogues don't matter with messages. Oh yeah. Oh dear. Well, right. Oof. Anyway. Gorgeous. Close that door because it's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the sounds this console makes, though. God damn it, Rowan. Why? <laughs> if I want to be critical, then there are a few mesh faults in this console room as well. Mm -hmm. Um, same points really, um, these parts here are floating off the wall, leaving a gap that you can actually, I believe, see out, uh, or at least in certain angles I think you can see out, um, along with a particular at the bottom here. Um, also some of the roundels, I believe, if I am not mistaken, have some smoothing issues. Um, but it's it's minor points really. There's nothing too things too um, issues to worry about. But um, with a person with OCD, I'm afraid I do pick out these things. And oh, I forgot to mention as well. Under the console, the light switches between each circle. Goes on. See, that's a nice feature. I'll do that. that and nice. it and it's a projector light as well, so you see it on the ground. Look. Oh God, yeah. I didn't realise that. That's cool. Oh, and you've got um, the uh, little um, round dots as well. Yeah, from the little yeah. Capaldi the spinny thingy. <laughs> spinny thingy. I love our name and definitions. Oh, it's the Capaldi oh, spinny thingy. Hang on. Let's see it. <laughs> freeze that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. There's an example of a, a weird texture glitch caused by either inc I think it's incorrect smoothing in Blender. What's that? What's those lines? Oh! Well, the, the um, texture is supposed to be a smooth metal, but it's causing lines because of the smoothing is off, so each of the faces. There is a way you can separate. get around that. You, yes, you just need to make. Because if you've got like a, f uh, a flat. Well, flat. Yeah, if you've got like a, a, a flat 
circular object that isn't uh, has got no subdivision surfaces or anything on there. There is an option where you can actually make that smooth without having those ridges in or those blocks as I call them. Because mm. they're quite freaking annoying otherwise. I hate them. But it's literally a little option in the object panel, I think. I never noticed it until um, completely by accident. But if that's made the way I'm thinking of, because it could be completely different, so don't take my word for it, um, then that's what you'd use to fix that. But then again, either way, it doesn't matter because it's been covered up, so it's not like anyone's really going to peek underneath and, you know, have issues oh, with no. it. I mean, um, I know when you. stuff. I know when Stabatha and myself have uploaded Mesh before, and we've missed smoothing on um, on one of the uh, the objects. It's really quite annoying because if you've got like a round object, like a sphere or a cylinder, and all you see is each individual face as a separate hard surface, that is really annoying. Because yeah. <laughs> you don't you don't want to upload it again because it's like oh, it's a waste of lindens. But anyway. But there you go. But yeah, so that is that is console, a, a very a a very nice console, and I, I I do generally like it. It's definitely one that I would buy. Let, if I use let it us just land back at the Herm Leocashon, and we can walk back out and give our verdicts. Indeed. And at top right, uh. okay. so, so, John, out of ten, what would you give the Extidia? Well, it's not my absolute favourite. Sorry, Rowan. Um, only, only because I'm, I'm a little over picky when it comes to um, detail. Mm -hmm. But also, it isn't my favourite design. Um, I'm, I'm a bit weird with things like with, with the classic exteriors. Um, some of them I like a lot, um, but some of them I find too, for want of a better word, bland. Yep. I'm and so I'm going to give it, but I still like it. I'm so I'm going to give it a. Uh, a low seven. Oh, okay, a seven. Okay. Right, yeah. so what um, would you then give the interior? I um, love the choice of metallic textures along with that lovely uh, crystal feeling. I say crystal, you know what I mean? Like that, um, it's, it's Rowan style, she used it in the grace, but that nice dark colouring as well. Um, I love the design overall. I'm not a fan of the rotor. I do find the textures used on it a bit too bumpy, if mm -hmm. that's the word I want to use. Um, but everything else, love about it. So I'm going to give that a, a very high um, nine. A nine? Okay. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Cody, out of ten, what would you give the exterior? See. I, I'm I'm torn on my opinion of the exterior because when it when it was first released, I didn't like how it looked at all. Yep. But it's grown on me that I can overlook like the small things. It, I actually I, yeah. I actually quite like it. It does much. have that effect. After being with it for a while, it does seem to have that effect, doesn't it? I, 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 yeah, I would probably, I'd probably give it, I'll give it a nine. A nine? I, I can overlook the, the really small issues with it. Fabulous. And for the interior, what would you give? Oh, that's, that's, to be honest, that is easily like a big fat stinking ten. Because hey. I, I can genuinely overlook... Ooh. Everything that Craze pointed out because I, I love that bloody it. I live. I love that console. Semi hard. It is a really good one. I did Rowan use it. Rowan nailed the design on that. Like it's that a, it's is a very some nice impressive design. work. Brilliant. I'm just being overcritical. <laughs> a ten. The first ten in like six, seven months. Brilliant. Indeed. First video back and we've already got a ten. Fantastic. For for me, I'd give the exterior. Um, I'd give it an 8. There are some s slight issues here and there, but I mean, going back to your point, Cody, it, it definitely has the... It, it definitely gives you that effect uh, that it can grow on you, and it is something that you don't mind looking at every every other day. So, it, it is a very, very likeable exterior, and of course you've got the, the old style uh, from the classic series, but I think also, I think the 
thinking about it, the police public call box that comes from um, the McGann police box. Because obviously it's well, the design. It is a, a yeah, bright purple. The, the, the light colouring. Yeah, it, it reminds me a lot of a of a McGann style uh, exterior. So obviously we've got a lot of um, classic mixtures in it. I think it is mainly a classic exterior because I don't really think there's any elements of the new series in it. It is essentially classic, um, which is perfectly fine by me, because I love the classic um, series anyway, especially how they progressed over time. So yeah, for me, it is definitely an 8. Um, I think the textures just kind of let it down a little bit. From a distance, it looks fine, but obviously when you get close up, and of course the roof as well, the way it doesn't blend, it, it can be a bit of an, a bit of an eyesore, especially when you're doing like a bird's eye view of the exterior, even from a um, far away angle, or far away distance. So yeah, for me, it's an 8. For the interior, um, I'm mm, nine, I'm going to give a 9.5. It is a beautiful looking interior. I absolutely adore it. It is wonderful. Um, slight little things here and there, but I, I mean, honestly, nothing, nothing really worth mentioning. The uh, the control panel for the Altaris information system. Wow, that's just phenomenal. I love that. So yeah, nine point five for me. There is there is an extra point I just want to quickly slot in this yeah. video, and that is I do think, again, maybe this is me being a bit hard, harsh of a critic, but I do think for because technically I think in Second Life is a game model, right? And I do think that Rowan's builds are a little bit too high poly. She has a lot of faces going on in a mesh, and on, the end result is the landing pack seems to be a little bit too high. What's the overall or the impact? LOD suffer? The overall impact for the console parts is 250, 375-ish, somewhere, and that's lagging me out selecting all that. I mean, 375, that's not too bad. I've seen worse. It's not bad for what it is. I've seen a lot but, worse. I mean, I was just spotting bearing in like mind this, all though. of the circles. See all that? Because I, mean, I was just thinking, you know, from a mesh builder's perspective, I thought like, they're a little bit high on the poly. I mean, depending on how she mitigates that with LOD settings, I don't know. But yeah. same with the exterior, I've noticed. But either way, you know, um, you see... But that's just that's just my personal opinion. The game, you know, I was just yeah. thinking that's a little, little too high poly for a game model. Um, but yeah. But no, that's fine. So. Yes, folks, that is the end of the review for the Concept 13. We do hope you enjoyed. Do stay tuned for weeks and months, if possible. I'm not saying you should <laughs> always stick here for that long, but, you know, it's your choice. But, yeah, we, we would definitely like originally. you all to stick. Uh, yeah. Stick stick with us, because we. I know we've been yeah. having massive hiatuses, but life has been up and down recently, so... And a lot has been going on, and we haven't really had much time to focus on making videos, so... Mainly down and mid-par. Yeah, <laughs> and remember as well, we're not partnered on YouTube anymore, so we're no. a lot more freer with our schedule, but at the same time, we do want to get back into making video content, um, it's just what uh, what we can fit in yeah. with what's going on in, in our realm. So, um, until next time folks, uh, stay tuned, take care, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye! Goodbye! Bye -bye. Thank you folks for watching. If you enjoyed, do please leave a like or comment below on this video. If you want more, on Jack's side is the last video and the recommended video that we've suggested to you. To stay tuned for more, on John's right is the link to our channel so you can subscribe. And also we have a link to our website if you want more information about who we are and what we do. Until next time, take care, stay safe. And remember, let, let it get excited out. Bye bye guys.